After days of sleepless highway travel and tires crunching driveway gravel, with luggage in hand, they stood at the door of their new old house, this family of four. neighbor was all but a lovely good host. He looked as if he had just seen a ghost. But the truth was that the neighbor had known that the family next door would not be alone. Said brother to mother, Well, no need to fuss. And look on the bright side. More sweets for us. Oh no you don't. You'll be up all night. And for different reasons, mother was right. That night, the boy lied there in bed. Ghoulish thoughts had haunted his head. His ears listened close, his eyes searched round. From his bedroom wall came a soft, scratching sound. I heard a scratching on my bedroom wall. Did you hear it, or did you just sleep through it all? Sister sat up and grinned a sly grin. A grin that would surely get under your skin. In days long ago, there lived in this house. A boy and a girl, a husband and spouse. The boy was upset with his given chores. Cooking and cleaning and washing the floors. He wanted to draw and write poems all day, but his mommy and daddy had something to say. You're wasting your life with this drawing and rhyme. You should be working and earning a dime. The boy felt like hiding or running away, but he did not run. Instead, he would stay. He searched through the house. He searched it in all to make his escape to inside the wall. And there he remains to this very day, drawing and writing and scratching away. But whatever you do, don't follow the scratches from the boy within. The walls are his home. His name? Damien. Though mother and father said scaring was wrong, sister had been quite proud of her song. She stood up from bed and scratched on the wall, but what happened next made sister's skin crawl. A scratching from inside the walls of her room. If it wasn't her brother or parents, then whom? She jumped into bed because then sister knew that the tale she told to her brother was true. Sister invited her friends for the night. A sleepover would help her get rid of her fright. She kept it a secret her friends hadn't known that sister was frightened of sleeping alone. The girls dozed off like birds in a nest, for sister was sleepless and wanted to rest. She awoke from her sleep to breaths of hot air, and someone behind her was tugging her hair. Quit it, she moaned to her friends on the ground. All night they were teasing and goofing around. But the tugging resumed. Stop it, she said. Sister was mad, so she turned in her bed. But her friends weren't there, nor under her bed. 
Perhaps the sensation was all in her head. She pondered that since her friends weren't there, who in this room could have tugged at her hair? But what was that sound from outside her door? Footsteps creaking the boards of the floor. The doorknob turned, the door opened wide. And two girls with cookies and treats walked inside. As Sister watched closely, she wanted to bawl. The scratching moved slowly along her room's wall. The scratches grew loud and louder before the scratching stopped by her dresser drawer. But the drawer slid out, and to Sister's alarm, from inside the wall, out reached an arm. She hoped that soon she would wake from a dream. She could not draw air to let out a scream. She hid under blankets as the arm searched about. She hoped and she wished that it wouldn't come out. Sister was frozen and peeked over her sheets and watched as it grabbed her cookies and treats. Brother had followed the sound from the wall. Inside the closet, he searched it in all. He noticed something he hadn't before. Behind all the clothes, a mysterious door. He crawled inside and didn't hear a sound. But just to his left was an old photograph on the ground. He stared at the picture, and the picture stared too. Four adults, three girls, and a boy brother knew. He turned over the frame, the boy didn't blink, as he read all the names that were scrawled in black ink. Anne, Diane, Helen, John, and Lee, Sarah and Jenny, and Damien, age three. By the walls he felt consumed, helpless and entombed, but as he turned to leave, the scratching resumed. He lowered the picture frame and brother did see. Damien sat, staring at him, and said to brother, Cookie? Brother dropped the picture and hurried out the door and returned to the inside of the walls nevermore. The family packed up and moved out in the morning, for mother and father heeded brother's warning. Don't follow the scratches from the boy within. The walls are his home. His name, Damien. Year after year, families come and go. After all, this is Damien's chateau. But maybe, perhaps, he will find one day a friend that will play and not run away.